Akash Shinti, your favorite reflection of you. Today, we're in the kitchen, and that's not somewhere I usually am all too often, yet nonetheless, sometimes you're in the kitchen, and that's what we're up to. Now, in all seriousness, today I'm talking a little bit about what do I put into my body, what's my nutrition regimen, for the most part. Um, for those of you who know me and have seen some of the crazy things that I will be putting in and consuming in my body, you're just like, whoa, he's putting like six, seven different beverages at the very least, just beverages into his body, let alone food and so on and so forth. So today I'm going to talk about a couple of them. Um, there is no branding or I didn't get any, I didn't get any payment for any of this branding coverage. Oh, wow. Check it out. A couple kids right down the block playing some soccer, kicking, kicking the ball in the backyard. Nothing like it. Anyways. So first thing I will, I, I love to, to drink is coconut water. I've been, I have like one of these guys a day. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. P totally, totally filled with electrolytes. Now that I say that, I'm gonna take a little sip of this right now too. I'm gonna take a sip of each one of these, maybe, maybe. But really refreshing. Um, I feel with coconut, coconut water is actually something I only grew into just this past year. And at first, I mean, I'm, I, my, my dad's from India, so my dad would be drinking coconut water all the time. And I'm like, dad, it's like not that good. It's an acquired taste, but I, I found it really, really amazing. There's a couple that are, are really good. There's others that are just like, ugh. Um, the ones that I like are the 365 by um, by Whole Foods is amazing. Zico, Zico coconut water, amazing. There's another one, uh, it's not coming to me right now, but it's it's in this green bottle, green silverish bottle, and it's usually like in a, a cart, carton type of thing. Really, really good. Those are the best ones that I've found. Um, I don't really know others that I, I would like usually have so coconut water is one of the things that I have on a daily basis on top of coconut water I also have regular water but the regular water that I drink is not it's not uh, it's not just like bottled water or, or whatnot it's alkaline water alkaline water is huge 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 and why uh, I can actually I can just taste the difference I can feel the difference of the water going into my mouth and being absorbed by my body if that makes sense I found that if I drink tap water in certain areas, like I just feel like I can feel the tap water just in my stomach and it's not really being absorbed into my body. With alkaline water, I can actually feel it kind of going into my cells. And really with that, with like taking the sip in, I just, I imagine and, and, and feel the water kind of just being pulled into my cells and, and feeling the hydration. So alkaline water is huge. Usually, I mean, I think it's just anything that's above what uh, human body I think is at seven. Seven is like neutral. So anything that's above seven, this one's ionized to pH 9.5. So incredible, incredible, incredible. The next thing's probably like, well, Akash, how do you continue? Akash and see, how do you continue to have all of this energy all the time and are always going, going at it like insanely crazy? Well, Yerba Mate. Yerba Mate by Guayaki. Yerba Mate is a... It's a, uh, it's my source of caffeine. Um, I specifically like the enlightened mint flavor. Um, and it's just absolutely, absolutely incredible. The, the taste to it is just, it's, it's amazing. I personally, um, but I also feel it's not like a caffeine, like a coffee buzz where, or a coffee stimulant where it's like, you feel very dehydrated afterwards. Yerba's actually keeps me hydrated. Um, and the buzz of the, like the caffeine isn't like a, it's a, it's a lot cleaner of a burn. What I mean by that is you don't get the crash feeling. It's a lot uh, more gentle on the come up and then a lot more gentle on the come down. So I love it. It's slightly, um, what's this called? Slightly carbonated. So you, you get a slight carbonation to it and it's, it's just awesome. It's, it's clean and it's my source of caffeine. So whenever I need the extra caffeine, which I didn't necessarily need right now, but for the purposes of this video, I needed the caffeine. No, in all seriousness, I really like it. So Yerba Mate, uh, you can get, there's different brands out there. I just, I've tended towards Guayaki because one of my mentors, Vince Kelvin, uh, swears by this stuff. So that's my thing there. The next one is... Uh, Naked. Naked green juice, I absolutely love. I also really, really like the blue juice. Now you're probably like, well, what's this whole naked? What's in it and stuff? There's a lot of stuff in it. 
Um, there's apples, mangoes, pineapples, bananas, kiwis. They also have parsley, ginger, garlic, barley, spinach, alfalfa, broccoli, and so on and so forth. So basically, this is my source of greens for the day. That's where I get my... I'll take a couple, uh, uh, a couple like, swigs of this, and, and that'll be my source of greens for the day, and making sure that I get all of these different vitamins and minerals that are typically found in specific fruits and vegetables. But I'm like, you know what, just blend it up into a smoothie and call it a day. Next is, and this one is a very, very recent addition, but I've noticed a huge, huge um, change up with this. And this is this was uh, as recommended by my mentor, Arash Zapar, Bizarre. It's called Brain Octane Oil, Bulletproof. Now, what's in this? It's actually, uh, they're called capricilic acid triglycerides from highly refined co highly refined coconut oil also known as mct oil from from what i understand basically i take a like maybe about a tablespoon of that i'll usually throw into a smoothie with the green naked juice the coconut water i'll throw maybe a banana or something else in there as well um and then some honey as well i just i love having natural honey i found is like amazing it's great for the immune system it's great for taste adds a little sugar anyways getting back to the brain octane oil i've just really it's 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 kind of like lubricant for the brain it's just it helps you think a lot a lot clearer or what i found and i feel sharper all around um specifically in my mind and my thinking so highly 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 recommend this bullet point bulletproof brain octane oil a little pricey but so so worth it the last one of today that we'll go through and these are the last of my little secrets so I'm, I'm, I'm really giving away a lot right here but fuck it you know is raw apple cider apple apple cider vinegar with the mother with the mother is very very important and you're like what the hell is the mother well i don't really know either i'm just kidding around the mother is like um it's like a, if you guys know kombucha, you know how there's like a little, like the spongy thing that kind of like, that carbonates it and shit, and, and, and that's kind of like the bacteria or the yeast or whatever it is, I think it's a bacteria, um, that ends up, uh, like, eating up all the sugar and creating the kombucha type effect. The mother is the same type of thing, there's, there's some type of uh, bacteria that they add into here, and it's really, really good for your, not only your immune system, um, in terms of your, like your, not only, not only your immune system, but specifically your gut and your stomach. Um, really, really incredibly, incredibly important for the stomach. But I've also found this to be really, really useful. And this is the last one I'm giving away. This doesn't even have to do with what I eat. This is what I do once a week. It is some type of like healing clay, like the Aztec healing clay, Aztec secret. They really got me that one on that one on the branding, but the whole idea of like a mud mask, I, I mix that with the um, with the apple cider vinegar for a mud mask once a week. But I also will do the apple cider vinegar just as like a shot. Um, again, I'll either throw it into the smoothie in the morning. Sometimes I'll just take a cap full of it, and it's really really good. Again, just for the stomach, um, helps balance things out and stuff. So this is what I put into my body. This is what I consume on pretty much a day-to-day -day basis. Um, every now and then I'll miss one or the other, but as you can tell, it doesn't really affect me that much because I keep going and going and going and that's what I love. So that's what I leave you guys on today. This is the types of stuff that I'm putting into my body and wow, 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 wow. I've cut that McDonald's stuff pretty much out for the most part every now and then. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's really it. It's just, it's finding these small little things. And again, this has been like a while. This has been months, almost years of really coming to and understanding, okay, these are the things that you put into your body. These are the reasons why. And then just sticking with the schedule there. So that's what I got for you guys today. Keep up, thrive, and